Hey, I'm Jacqueline and welcome to In The Know. This is our weekly video show designed to keep you up to date on the most exciting innovations across the QuickBooks ecosystem. Today, we're diving into workflows for approvals, specifically for bills. We heard that users want multiple levels of approval for their bills based on their company's organizational hierarchy. So we're excited to introduce multi-level approvals for the bill approval workflow. With multi-level approvals in place, users can send a bill for approval to multiple people in a sequence so that the bills are thoroughly vetted before being sent out to vendors. And now for the fast facts. Multi-level approvals for the bill approval workflow is available to admins and accountants using QuickBooks Online Advanced. You can access it by visiting Workflows and then clicking on Templates. This feature has been available in the US since April of 2024 and is coming soon to Canada, UK, and Australia. If you find this update interesting or helpful, go ahead and like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified. All right, let me go ahead and introduce you to Rashab, who's the talented product manager behind this exciting update. Rashab, welcome. Hey Jacqueline, thanks for having me on the show. Starting with the product demo, I'll tell you where in the product you'll be able to find this particular template. You want to search for workflow automation on the left nav and then search for bill. Once you do that, the first thing that comes up is the bill multi-condition approval workflow template. Now, once you click on that, it opens up this new visual builder that we've built out for approval specifically. Now, approval workflows exist. We have just in introduced another layer on top of that, which is the multiple levels of approval. Once you, you, you figure out what your business requirements are, you only set up a workflow accordingly. Here, what I've done is I have taken bill amount as the one, as a specific uh, parameter. Now, it's, if it's between zero and thousand, I would want approval from certain people. If not, if it's between thousand and five thousand dollars, I would want approval from certain set of people and so on and so forth. Now, let me go ahead and set this up. So what I've done is I've added multiple approvals. So it's Sishi and Kartikeya and in that specific order they'll be getting approvals once I create a bill. Now let me go ahead and set up this entire workflow. So you'll see that for every condition I have more than uh, one approval. Here I have three, here I have two, here I have four and so on. So you can you can set this up according to your own business needs. Once you're satisfied with this save and turn on the workflow and your workflow is up and running in the background. Now what I'll do is I'll take you through one branch of this particular workflow, which is if the bill amount is between 1000 and 5000, it should go to approval to Sishi and Kartikeya in that specific order, right? So I've created a bill uh, for one of my vendors and the bill amount is $1,500. As, as soon as I save this particular bill, I am posed with this pop-up asking me to send this bill for approval, which I'm going to do. So I'm going to click on send for approval. And once I do that, it automatically goes in the pending approval status. This, this is a place where you'll see all the status regarding approvals as in when the bill goes through that particular workflow. Approval one CC in this case would come to the product, would see this and she could either reject or approve this one. Um, just for the sake of this demo, we're going to approve this. So as soon as I click on approve, it says that bill bill for $1,500 is partially approved. And now the next approver, which in our case is Karthikeya, has been notified. So she, see she's work is done. Now Karthikeya will come on the product. We'll see, see this particular bill would again have an option to approve or reject. And once he approves, the state of the bill would change to approved. And now you could schedule payments. You could send this out to your end customer and so on and so forth. So this is our end-to-end -end bill approval uh, workflow end-to-end -end scenario. And all of this, all the details that I have uh, just mentioned while, while I was demoing it, all the entire audit of the same thing would be available on workflows run history. So if you go to workflows tab and you click on the run history uh, tab in that, you'll be able to check what all has happened for a particular workflow. So that, that sort of completes the bill approval workflow demo. Thanks Jacqueline. See you on another episode very soon.
Rashab, thank you so much for being on the show with us. Let's turn now to pro advisors Roman Villar and Terrell Turner for them to weigh in. Well, Terrell, Roman, thank you so much for joining me on this episode of In the Know. I'm really excited to get your point of view on why multi-level approvals for bills matters. So Terrell, why don't we have you weigh in there? Why does it matter that there's multi-level approvals for bills set up for you and for your clients? Yeah, I mean, I think the big thing is in your growing business, you can't really keep your hands on every single thing like you used to. And so you do want to make sure as the owner of the business or as a leader is that is money getting spent the way that it should. Um, now, God forbid you have a situation where, you know, money got spent on something and everybody's asking after they're looking at the financials, like who approved this? And to avoid that, I think these multi-level approvals really give them a lot more comfort as they continue to grow because I mean, as you grow, you got to shift your attention to other things. So you need the right tools to help you do that. Right. Roman, does that resonate for you as well? Yeah, it does. You know, when when Terrell's talking about growth, we're, we're trying to introduce scalability to our clients, right? So as our clients grow and scale, how do we bring the level of controls and processes to help them understand their cash flow? Cash is the number one biggest concern for the majority of our clients. And so to be able to have the capacity and the controls to ensure that the cash out the door is, is being managed effectively, that that smooths over a lot of issues in that scalability process. Now, Roman, you and I have had conversations in the past about how important it is for your team or for accountants to have an advisory mindset. So how would talking to a client about something like multi-level approvals for bills lend itself to an advisory type conversation? Yeah, it's a great question because when we think about advisory, we think about that throughout the entire relationship with the client from the transactional level through financial reporting. And so when we look at something like multi-level uh, approvals for bill pay, the advisory component really leans on helping them manage their cash. And so like I mentioned, when, when we're going through these iterations of growth with the client, we want to ensure that we're bringing forward the right solutions, the right tools, the right so just uh, solutions to their problems that exist and or they don't know exist because oftentimes they don't really know that this is an issue or can prevent some degree of scalability until we bubble that up to them. So we want to be on the forefront of that uh, to be able to enable them to have a little bit more visibility moving forward. So, you know, we've been through this like massive transformation when it comes down to advisory to where you have this formal process of here's the processes and the, and the controls. But when we really took a step back and boil it down, advisory really just comes down to like, what is the value for the client? And what we realize is that money is just an emotional topic. And I think money going out the door it's an emotional you know activity because if too much money is going out the door emotions are going to be probably pretty high and i mean anxiety may go up or whatever the case may be and one of the things that we found is being you know advisors to our clients is helping them not only just manage the money but i think also managing the emotional fallout of it because I remember we were doing a financial statement review where we pulled up all the expenses. We were reviewing like, hey, here's what you spent on this category, this category. And there was a couple of things we came across and they used a few choice words, but they were just like, who blank approved this expense? And we were just like, well, we're doing the accounting. So someone in your organization approves spending this money. And what we realized is, you know what, having a process in place where you can actually get some level of approval or there's some level of accountability, it kind of helped to manage that because I mean, seeing money come out of your bank account and you not knowing who approved it, where, you know, what is it related to you not being able to get those type of answers. It was just creating anxiety for the leaders of our clients. So I think being able to add this in allowed them to get a lot more comfort and to the point where when we're having a financial review, they're not blowing up in our meeting when we're just like, hey, don't shoot us. We're just the messenger. We didn't spend the money. We're just telling you the story. So I think this helps not only our client, but it also helps the dynamic of the relationship 
because now we can start helping them actually get ahead of those emotional blow ups when money is going out unexpectedly because it's like, nope, we know who approved it. We know when they approved it. And hey, here's the workflow for it. Well, Roman Troll, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for sharing your insights and really for helping helping us widen the lens and understand how a conversation that might be transactional could really turn into this rich advisory moment to help clients. So appreciate you both and hope to catch you next time. Sounds great. Thank you. Thanks. And thank you for watching this episode. I'm Jacqueline, the host of In The Know and leader of Pro Advisor Training and Certification. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a single episode. We'll catch you next time.